Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about what is behind me. So today I decided to do a smart beauty kind of like tech tour. Um, a lot of people don't know probably, or maybe some people do. I really like tech. Um, I like gaming. I like all things that have to do with like smart stuff, AI, all that stuff. I just, I don't know what it is, I just love it. Anytime something new comes out with like cameras or beauty, like computers, oh my God, I, just, I love all of it. I don't know what it is. I love like the Amazon devices, the talking devices. I don't care that there might be somebody listening to me. Good, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like good. Uh, I just love all of it. So I kind of had the idea to combine my two loves of makeup and also tech and kind of show you the different things that I've kind of implemented in my setup um, tech-wise and beauty-wise, and I just think that some of the things are really cool and they just are interesting to me. So if you're also one of those people or if you just wanna check it out and you have nothing else to do today, then hopefully you enjoy this video. <laughs> First things first, we probably should talk about this thing right here. So this is my makeup vanity, and this is kind of like a smart makeup vanity. These days there's actually even more high-tech ones. Um, I got this a couple years ago. It was a gift from my boyfriend, so I love this thing. It's changed my life. If you are a like a beauty tech person, or if you like tech, or if you just like want to have like a really nice focal point of your vanity, I would suggest investing in one of these mirrors. I will link it below, and I do have a coupon code for that, but it's not sponsored. I couldn't find a sponsor for this video. <laughs> this is a really great investment, and there's a couple different bulbs that you can get on here. So I got the clear bulbs. I think that they look just a little bit more. I don't know, crisp to me. It's just a look that I wanted to go for. You can get like the frosted bulbs also, so it's just kind of your preference, but this is the Glow XL 2.0, I think, mirror. They do have mirrors that are bigger and longer, which one day I think I will kind of invest in, but for now this is fine for me, but they are a lot more expensive. So what I like about this is there's two outlets on the side and there's actually two USB outlets as well. When I do plug in my hair straighteners, curling irons, whatever, um, I can plug them into there. And then I can also plug in um, the chargers to my other mirrors. I can ch plug in chargers to my, my camera. Um, anything that I need, I can plug it in there. So I really like that that's right there um, and available. I always use that. So. That's one thing I really like about it. Um, besides that, it's just a vanity mirror. It's, there's not really a whole lot else <laughs> to it. I just think it's really, really cool. And another thing you can do is you can actually dim the lights up and down. Um, there's a switch on there. Some vanities don't have that option, but this one does. So if it's too bright or if you're getting ready in the morning and you're like, this is too much for me, you can turn it down a little bit. And I really like that option. So. The next thing I want to talk about is this mirror right here. It's a little bit dirty. I apologize for that. But this is also from Impressions Vanity. And I've talked about this a lot. You always see me using this. I use this every single day. I know it might sound a little bit redundant or seem redundant to have this huge mirror and then to also have this mirror. But if you do your makeup every single day or you know you have a good concept of the lighting, um, it's I kind of like to face my window also. So I like to like look at it this way. This mirror actually swivels. 360 it goes back it goes forward but then you can also turn it like that so it's pretty cool um, in that way also these lights are really really bright and I just can put you know click them on and off one thing I really like about this though is although this mo this mirror is really cool and I guess it would technically be a smart mirror um, what makes it really smart is the fact that it has a Bluetooth built-in speaker to it so let me just show you really quick Bluetooth mode you can play music right off it. And it actually gets pretty loud. Anyway, the Bluetooth speaker option is probably the coolest part about this mirror. Moving along, we have one more mirror option. I swear I'm done after this, but mirrors are a big part of beauty tech in my opinion because there's not a whole lot of ways. I mean, a lot of it is just you putting makeup on. So. Um, this is another one from Impressions Vanity. It's the only place that I get mirrors. I think everywhere else is kind of sketchy. 
that's a little bit of a biased opinion because I do have a code with them, but um, they've never steered me wrong, okay? So this right here is actually a travel mirror and it's got the really nice marble um, packaging to it, which I really like, and it's on the back side as well. It's really, really sturdy, so I do bring this when I travel places and it's good to have a really good mirror for when you travel, let me tell you. <laughs> Sometimes some hotels do not have the right lighting um, or people's houses. So you flip it like this. And again, this one's dirty too. I don't know why I can't keep anything clean. You just hit this light right here, the, the on button, and that's what it looks like. It's a really, really, again, like all the other lights I have, it's a really, really bright white light. Um, it's perfect for makeup. This is a really good option and it's a really, really bright mirror. And it's actually pretty affordable. I think it's around $40. So um, pretty good deal. I think it was, I paid like 36 or something. So so next, moving down the line here on my vanity. So this is my TV. This is just a cheap Vizio TV. Um, it comes with like Netflix and different things, but it doesn't come with every um, streaming service. So it doesn't come with like Twitch and stuff. So what I did was I got a Amazon Fire TV stick. I recommend every single person get because they're just so cheap and you can stream basically everything. Um, and it hooks right up to your Amazon account. So if you have Amazon Prime or whatever, which I do. So I hooked that up and then now I just kind of go to this. I have Netflix on here, I have my Hulu account, I have Twitch, which I watch a lot. So I just watch this stuff when I do my makeup or you know, hypothetically, if I needed to watch a tutorial, I can see it kind of blown up here and then I can follow along with it. I don't do that that much, you know what I'm saying? But um, if you wanna watch mine, <laughs> then go ahead. But uh, yeah, this is kind of what I do and I just think it's really cool. And then it also has the option where you can talk to it. So um, this is the Amazon Fire TV stick remote. So if I wanted to be like, Twitch. Yeah, so then I open it and then, then I can watch people play video games while I do my makeup or whatever. So it's just kind of cool. I like it. I just, I like that I added the Fire TV stick. It totally changed my life. It takes a cheap TV that might not necessarily be a smart TV and it makes it a smart TV or a smarter TV. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. What do you think? <laughs> So the next thing that I wanna talk about, this is a smart beauty tool that I have, which I think is just really cool. This is not the one that I would recommend to people. It is the one that I use today, so if you're wondering what I use on my hair. Um, but there are a ton different, there are a ton of different options out there, so just type in like curling iron and straightener all in one. Um, this is just to tell you that something like this exists and it's kind of a smart beauty tool. Um, you know what I'm saying. So this is actually a curling iron and straightener in one. So it is kind of like a one inch barrel and you can lock it into place, but then you can also open it and then it turns into a straightener. So this one goes up really, really high in heat. You can change the setting on here and it's just, it's the coolest thing ever. Um, and I really like it because I, I don't have to have two tools taking up space in my drawer. I can curl my hair, but then at the same time, without having to get another one out and then heat it up, I can straighten my hair or you know the pieces that need to be straightened and it's the best. It saves so much time. I cannot believe that I didn't have one of these sooner. It's definitely something I would look into. Um, like I said, they sell a bunch of them. There's a lot of different brands doing these. Um, it's, this is just, this brand I don't really like to talk about anymore <laughs> because they uh, made like a really questionable post on social media. I would recommend getting something like that if you're into like the tech stuff, you know what I'm saying? Next things that I think are smart beauty, I have a couple different like skincare tools that I think are really cool. So you probably heard of this one. This is the Foreo. These are pretty expensive. I think they're in like the $200 range. I got this a long time ago. And these are really cool because it vibrates when you need to move to the other side of your face or a different section of your face. So yikes. And you can also turn it up and down. So if it's too intense for you or whatever, you can turn it up and down. It'll do like 10 seconds. And if you're in this one spot, it'll beep twice and then you move to the other side. So you're never staying in one spot too long and potentially causing sensitivity or whatever. I have another for you, which this is the one that I actually take when I travel. It's a smaller one. And I think these are relatively new, but on the back you will see that there are these little kind of metal uh, knobs on it and then there's like a camera thing so this one actually is a little bit different and since it's new it has a little bit more technology with it this is called the Luna Fofo <laughs> but 
This one actually, you can take a picture of your skin and then send it into the app and it will kind of tell you different things about your skin. I haven't really done that yet. I don't really feel like I need to do that. Um, but if you want to, it's an option and I think that's really cool. And it is pretty fascinating that they have that kind of technology. So yeah, this one is, you can send in a picture to this app and it just tells you stuff all the stuff that maybe you didn't even want to know. So that's the one I take traveling. I'll be honest, I do not use this one anymore, um, but I still have it because it was so expensive. But this is the one that I do use now. This is the PMD Clean. So they actually came out with a new one recently. It has a like a rose gold backing. It's like a quartz stone backing. It's pretty cool. But this one I like better because it's shaped a little, it's easier to, um, hold it's more practical i actually keep these in my shower because i like to wash my face in the shower so it's not getting all over my sink and like a tsunami but this is really cool because it has four different settings so the first one is just a regular vibrating setting the second one's a really high vibrating setting i usually use just the first setting and then the last two are pulsating settings which you can use with the back side of it to push uh, products deeper into your skin or penetrate better whatever um, it's getting a little weird at this point. So yeah, you're supposed to like use it to push serums in. This one is actually battery operated. The other two, you need a special charger with it. This one is just battery operated, which I kind of like uh, because if you are traveling, if you don't want to carry around a bunch of different chargers and it runs out of battery, you can just buy a battery wherever you are. So I like that one actually better and it's a little bit cheaper and you can get it um, a couple different places. So I will have everything linked below if you ever want to check anything out. So this next thing is actually this also from PMD. Um, this is the PMD Microdermabrasion. So I really like this and I truly use this a ton. You'll see a lot of different companies doing products like this. This is just the one that I've used and I really like it. You can get it at Ulta or Sephora. I think you can get it on Amazon too. But so what this is, it's a person, it's an at-home microdermabrasion device. So it kind of retexturizes and resurfaces your skin. Pretty intense thing to do to your skin. So you're not supposed to do it every day or like th that often. I still use this truly and I, I really like it. It's like getting like a microdermabrasion at a like esthetician or you know office or whatever so it's pretty cool or like a dermatologist's office that's where you would get it probably so um, it comes with a couple different heads on it you can get like one for sensitive skin there's some for men and there's just a lot of different options that you can do but basically you just kind of run it like this and it just resurfaces gets all the dead skin off and it really feels like your skin is like brand brand new brand new it's so cool so um it's really intense though so it's definitely um i don't even know if i would recommend it for people that have sensitive skin but to me i just love this thing and it's really good so definitely check it out okay i have another smart beauty tool this this is also from pmd they they're just a kind of like a tech company i mean they're kind of like a beauty tech company um so i have a lot of stuff from them and i used to work with them a lot so this is the pmd kiss and it is um supposed to be like a lip plumper device <laughs> and you basically turn it on and you put your lip in it and then it like it's kind of like the kylie jenner lip challenge but a safe way to do it you're not sucking on a shot glass or anything um and it's not gonna cause like bruising or anything like that i don't know exactly how effective this is but i do think it is a better alternative to getting lip injections because i think 99.9 percent .9 of people who get lip injections look worse than they did before they got them no tea no shade or anything like that but i think it's good for people that maybe just want to increase their lip size a little bit or maybe temporarily and see how it looks um I it does build up collagen over time or like that uh tissue over time and it does kind of you know plump them up a little bit i think that it actually did make a little bit of a difference because my lips did used to be really uneven and then i used it on one side every day and now they're pretty even i've never had lip injections i will never get them <laughs> so but again i don't know how effective it is that's just kind of an anecdotal um, story, if you know what I mean. So there's no, there's not a to ton of empirical evidence, I don't think. I'm not sure. Whatever, right? Final thing I want to talk about. This is kind of veering a little bit more into like filming equipment, which is not a place that I really want to go, but it, I still feel like this is okay for this video. I will do like an equipment video, or if you want to see like my gaming setup or my uh, like editing stuff like that, stuff that I have. For that, like my computer stuff, I would love to do a video on that. But for right now, this is the last thing I'll show you. So this is actually a desktop ring light. So if you do do makeup or if you do video, beauty videos or if you do 
gaming or whatever whatever you do i don't know what you're up to but for me i use this if i want to have a little bit extra light when i'm doing my makeup or if i am filming a video over on my desk you can just put it on your desk and it's so easy and it's actually really easy to carry around and transport as well so it just comes in like a really cute little package this is also from impressions vanity you can sense a the theme i get a lot of my beauty tech stuff from the same places i know a lot of people will when they're starting out or if they're looking for a ring light they kind of go for the big one that's on a stand and i like that that just sits on a desk and you can sit it in front of a window on a table or whatever and i just really like that it, it, it also dims as well so it has that option to get brighter or less bright sometimes the brightest setting is just way too bright so anyway that's everything that i have in my beauty tech setup there are so many more things out there that are like beauty tech or smart beauty related that are just way too expensive or just crazy out there just insane but i would love to eventually get around to trying those things because like i said i love tech i love the whole thing i love gaming i love all of it so anyway if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and let me know what you want to see next or if you like these kind of videos and you want to keep seeing things that are on this similar theme thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.